You couldn't hear it in the vacuum of space. Any ill effects from the Van Allen radiation belt? No. Now, I'm not sure we went far enough out to, to encounter the Van Allen radiation belt. Maybe we did. Beginning at an altitude of 1,000 miles and extending an additional 25,000 miles lay lethal bands of radiation called the Van Allen radiation belts. Every space mission in history with humans on board, from both the United States and Soviet Union, from the first in 1961 to the present, has been well below this deadly radiation field. Mercury, Gemini, Soyuz, Skylab, the Space Shuttle, all maintained altitudes well below 1,000 miles. All except Apollo. I don't know the distance to the Van Allen radiation belt. And if we did, it wasn't a problem. We, if we were going to encounter it, then we would have had to build the spacecraft and the spacesuit to, uh, to, to not give humans a problem. You, you don't just build something and hope it works. You study to see what uh, the threats are, the environment is, and then you say, how thick do I have to make the metal on the spacecraft so that going through this kind of radiation or these kind of meteoroids it won't get hurt, and so and then we build it that way. The belts are 1,000 miles to 25,000 miles above the Earth. We, then we went right out through them. No effects on your cells? Mm -mm, didn't even know it. I don't think anybody, well, maybe somebody said you went through the radiation belt, but we didn't feel it inside, and we didn't get any you know, added radiation. In 1998, the space shuttle flew to an altitude of 350 miles, one of its highest altitudes ever hundreds of miles below the beginning of a field of radiation that was so severe that the astronauts inside of their shielded spacecraft and inside of their shielded spacesuits saw flashes of light with their eyes shut that they described as shooting stars due to radiation penetrating first the shuttle's shielding, then their spacesuit shielding, then their skulls, and finally the retinas of their closed eyes. As a result, CNN issued the following report noting NASA's unpredicted surprise. The radiation belt surrounding Earth may be more dangerous for spacewalking astronauts than previously believed. Scientists say the phenomena known as the Van Allen belts can spawn killer electrons when the Earth's magnetic field changes. These electrons that are being studied could have an important effect not only on satellites, which has happened in the past, but could also affect the astronauts by creating large doses of radiation that could influence their health. The electrons can penetrate through various materials, including spacesuits, and can pass through, in fact, the walls of the space station, and can create high charges deep inside of these objects. No strange uh, occurrences? Mm -mm, nothing like that. The uh, space I'll shuttle... To, uh, Go ahead. The space shuttle went to 365 miles a few years ago uh -huh. because I worked in news. Uh -huh. I saw CNN. They said that the radiation belts surrounding Earth are more dangerous than previously believed because the astronauts saw shooting stars with their eyes closed oh, just no, when they that got isn't within from 600. from radiation belt. We saw shooting stars, but they're not shooting stars from with your eyes closed, although they look like it. Uh, if you're out in space beyond the Van Allen belt, and probably within the Van Allen belt, and close your eyes, and just pay attention, you don't notice it unless you pay attention, then all of a sudden you'll see a little flash like a shooting star, except it's like that. There goes one this way, and one just blossoms, and then not that fast, maybe you wait three minutes or two minutes, and one goes whoosh. Then you see them whistling by. Not on our mission, by the way, they hadn't been discovered yet. Then you see them whistling by. Not on our mission, by the way, they hadn't been discovered yet. Then you see them whistling by. Not on our mission, by the way, they hadn't been discovered yet. I saw one day.